Hey guys, thanks for joining Angelica Goddess channel. And today I have a package from Sage Goddess. Yes, I get them in randomly because of the quarantine, so I don't know when they're coming in. But we're going to look at it today and we're going to see what's in it. And as you can see, I just cut it open, but I have no idea what's in it. But we're going to find out. Because some of these orders have just been coming in randomly, so I have no idea what it is. Okay. I have no idea. I know I order from there all the time. That's about it. So here is the card that always comes in each package. It is a postcard of her. And that's cute. So that we always get that. She's a very good inspiration if you guys don't watch her lives or her gym shows. And I got some purity perfume. Now I hope this didn't spill because a lot of the times when these come in they spill out. I think she even heard me comment a couple times on her live feeds about it spilling and not making it. So they're trying to do their best and they're trying to fix it. So I hope they do because I'd like to smell some of their, their hand sanitizers and their uh, sample perfumes. Okay, this is different. I've never seen this before. And it says Sage Goddess on it. Excuse my hands. I've been doing some crafting. All right. Let's see. I'm going to open this up and see what this is and what this says. This says, Elemental Blessing. Speak these words when you're working with your candles, gems, perfumes, pendulums, or other sacred tools. You can use these words to dedicate new tools when you receive them to charge existing tools with new and refreshed energy. You may also choose to physically turn to the directions when reading or simply imagine the energies of those directions as you speak the words. So this is awesome. Love element and fire. And I love charging all my tools. And you must charge all your tools. So, there we go. All right. So, I'll put this to the side. And, man, there are some packages in here, you guys. I mean, when I shop, I shop. <laughs> Let me tell you, I do see, okay, there is a perfume and it made it. Like I said, it's called Purity. Um, let me see what it smells like if I can get it open because I don't know what it smells like. Oh, it smells pretty good. Oh yeah, I like that. Yummy. And it made it here. I'm so excited. I got a package that made it here. Okay, guys, so here we go. Bear with me. I'm using my phone because I'm having trouble uploading on my camera. So I have to use my cell phone to upload my videos. Unfortunately, but hopefully it'll be clear when it comes in. Oh, this is a big package. Hold up. Man, how much is packed in here? Ooh, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Oh. So this right here, if you guys can see this. And I'm going to start doing a crystal series because I think crystals are very helpful tools in your life. People just don't realize how helpful they are with everyday meditation, pain, courage, endurance. I mean, just... If you have any types of health issues or you need courage or encouragement, ADHD, anything. I mean, you can use gemstones to help you in your everyday life. All right. So this one we're first going to see. This is the Smoky Quartz Clear Quartz. And I know this is a clear quartz because I ordered these and I remember I ordered a few of them. Look how clear that is. 
and that's a smoky clear quartz. It's a protective stone. I'm going to put that to the side and see what the next one is. And like I said, again, I will be doing a crystal series where I will go over at least three different crystals in one video. Um, if you're not familiar with crystals or you're interested in crystals, I have a ton of them. And so, you know, it's a good learning, you know, process too, if you guys want to learn that. Look at this stone right here. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this stone while I have it. So you guys can look at that. I'm going to tell you what that is. This says this is serpentine. And serpentine is a stone of sexual healing and kundalini awakening. It helps you release any stories, trauma, blocked energy around your sexuality and sensuality. Serpentine resonates with earth energy, embodies ancient wisdom, and connects to nature. Connects you to nature. You can carry with you, place in a medicine bag or pouch, or you can hold it during spiritual work. So, again, like I said... I mean, that is just beautiful. Look at that. That is a beautiful stone. I have nothing like this. So I'm going to set this to the side here. And I have two papers. One says serpentine, which I believe that is serpentine because I do see the green in it. And then the other one is pyrite. So, but let's keep looking. Okay, I have another beautiful stone here, you guys. Let me get rid of this paper because it's in my way. Okay. This is a beautiful stone. I love all the bags they come in too. This right here is carnelian. Now, I don't have any carnelian, so I'm really excited about this stone and its purposes. I know carnelian is um, for the sac sacral chakra. Look at this stone, you guys. It's just beautiful. Very nice size carnelian. And it says carnelian is, a, is the sacral chakra stone that increases energy, heightens creativity, and supports personal empowerment. The gemstone version of caffeine, basically. It enhances stamina, and courage, optimism, and endurance. So you can hold this with you when you do spiritual work as well or take it with you when you're on the go somewhere. But I mean, who doesn't need courage or optimism? You know, who doesn't need energy? Who doesn't need something supportive? You know, something to heighten your creativity and give you an empowerment, you know, just in your day. Again, you guys, this is carnelian and this is a nice piece of carnelian. I mean, this is... That's pretty huge right there. And my other one is drifting off. Okay. All right. So we'll see what's next. Oh, did I get another piece of carnelian? I probably did for one of my kids. I did get some carnelian. Because they too also chosen different stones for them which they love as well. And they understand stones. And we love going to the medical metaphysical store to learn about them. It's like a field trip. We take them there and learn about the properties, where they come from, all over the world. This is a beautiful stone right here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Wow. Look at that, look at those colors. And this is Muggle Stone. I don't know if you guys have heard of Muggle Stone, but I'm going to tell you about Muggle Stone right now. Look at that. This is the stone of vitality, self confidence, and problem solving, a companion for creative minds, calming scattered energies, and inspiring 
innovative solutions to old problems. You know, you carry this with you as well. And this is connected to the root chakra. So during spiritual work, you hold this to the root chakra as you meditate or do whatever. And again, this is called Muggle Stone. This is a beautiful stone. Wow. Very nice. So I have a couple of the Serpentine. I have some Carnelian and Muggle Stone. And then already I have a Smoky Quartz. Which I know I bought a couple of them. Because I have some for my kids too. Sage Goddess does not pay me to tell you all these things about these stones. I don't get, this is money out of my own pocket here. I love crystals. I've always loved crystals. And now that I know the meanings and where they come from and what their purpose is and how they can help you with your health and everyday life, that just makes everything better. I mean, it just makes it more interesting. You just want to learn more. Like the knowledge just keeps... It keeps growing and you just keep craving it. So yeah, it is an addiction probably. <laughs> if you get into stones, it's an addiction. Okay, so I'm going to show you the stone here. Wow, look at this. Can anybody guess what that is? No? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you. That is Manadine Garnet. A mal a garnet. And it's a root chakra stone for vitality, fertility, and protection. It ensures safe return from spiritual journey through gentle grounding into earth energy. So this is a very powerful stone. This does a lot of work. So I will definitely smudge all my stones sage goddess usually sends sage with you know all the stones you know cleanses them but you know for myself i always make sure that i you know smudge everything that comes here oh look at that ink look at that indenture that's just natural again this is almadine garnet this is garnet very different and new Wow, look at all those cracks in it and interesting. The only thing I wish that she would say where these stones came from. Like in her video, she tells where, like in the country they come from, different places. But um, she didn't on that one. Okay, I have more carnelian. <laughs> I believe I bought three pieces of carnelian. So those are the stones I have so far. All right. Let's see. Let's keep going. So we got muggle stone. Oh. That's more carnelian. Man, I was racking up on a carnelian. There must have been a carnelian sale. Which they usually do have pretty good sales on there. So, And then they great, make great gifts. So... When you see a friend that's in need or something or, you know, you want to gift them a stone, it's always a good gift. It makes a really good gift. Okay, you guys, here's another one. Can anybody guess what that is? Me either. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't think it says what that one is. I might have to... Uh, call sage goddess back it looks like it's quartz it looks like clear quartz i know i ordered like lemon quartz but maybe this is just a big piece of clear quartz tumbled quartz it's beautiful it doesn't say what that one is oh yeah here yes it does it says um, thank you for visiting my shop. Sage Goddess is my sole purpose and spiritual work in the world. I infuse each item I send with love and blessings. This clear quartz has been sound charged by singing bowls and anointed with my Dea perfume for embracing your inner goddess. It is my sacred gift to you. I cherish your energy and your business. Please take 10% off your next order. <laughs> 
This is awesome. Wow. I smell it. Oh my goodness. Yes, it does smell good. See that? Oh my goodness. And that perfume smells good. Wow, that smells really, really nice. Again, you guys, this is clear quartz. So this is blessed and anointed with singing bowls and perfume. That's, I mean, that's that's really amazing. And that one's special. That's really special. I love that. Wow. Okay. So I got a few pieces of muggle stone. So I will be gifting. Look at all these stones. If you're a crystal lover like myself, like you can understand this. If you don't like stones that much, you may struggle with this video probably. But if you're a stone person like myself, you're just gonna, you're gonna love it. I got more muggle stone. Look at that piece. Wow. That's really pretty. That's another piece of muggle stone, you guys. You guys see that? I mean, like, that's my that's my stash already, just for today. <laughs> that's today's stash. And you guys know I keep these bags. I wonder what other people do with their baggies that they get, but I have a ton of them, as you can see, and I keep them. I do make soap. Luna Moon Creations. So a lot of the times, you know, I use these baggies to put my soap in. Right now I'm making um, Angelica Goddess. I'm making mermaid soaps and they're lavender and they're um, cucumber infused, melon. And then I have orange soaps. So these come in handy, handy dandy, big time. So I can always find it. Or if you give somebody else, you know, you have a bag to put their stone in. Don't throw them away. Keep them. So this is this is a stone haul right here. I think I'll call it that too. I'll call it a stone haul. And as you can see, I'm opening up another package. And I believe this is my last one. I know. I hate for it to end. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Can anybody tell what that is right away? Oh my goodness. Ugh. I've been dreaming about these babies. This right here, you guys, is called Black Kyanite. If I can get it out the bag. Look at that. This is Black Kyanite. Like I said, I buy my own stones. I have no help in the funding department with getting stones. I mean, somebody could give me, you know, I'll do a video, but this is black kyanite. Look at that. Very beautiful. It's very beautiful stone and very powerful. Black kyanite spear. It's protection, clearing of energies and spaces. Grounding in connection with spirit guides. Black kyanite clears energies of all stones, but also holds no energies itself. So, I mean, you can clear all and clean all your stones with this stone. This stone right here will, will clear the energy of all these stones. This one powerful stone right here. Isn't that amazing? And your space, and it's a protection stone. Again, you guys, this is called Black Kyanite Spear. And it looks like a spear too, right? Beautiful. Just amazing. Wow. And I should have a few of those because I, you know, I think I brought my, my kids some protection stones too. It's a very powerful stone, but it's good to, you know, it's good for your loved ones. Good protection against, you know, anything, any type of, you know, psychic attacks or anything, any bad energies that may be in your home or anything. Very good. So black kyanite is just beautiful. Here's a humongous piece. Look at that. That's mine. <laughs> That's mine. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. 
I'm so in love. I love stones. Yes. Okay, you guys. Well, hey, that's it. This is my this is my stone haul. If you've ever seen a stone haul, this is it. And I got this from sagegoddess.com. My name is Angelica Goddess. And I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Please come back. Like I said, I'm going to do a stone series where I will be doing a few stones. Um, you know, different ones you may be interested in or checking out or something you can connect to for yourself. You know, get in tune. All right. Thank you very much, you guys. Please click like and subscribe and see you next time.